Now we will discuss the cylinder one dimensional steady state with internal heat generation. So our approach will remain same. We have same equation only thing that n is replaced by 1. We have a steady state model but dt by dt equal to 0. And we have generation so q triple dash k is also present. So our governing equation become 1 by r del del r into bracket r into del t by del r q triple dash by k equal to 0. So we'll first shift q triple dash k on the right hand side. At the same time we'll multiply by r. So we'll get del del r or ddr of r into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash into r by k. Now we can integrate it one time. So if we integrate we get r into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash r square by twice k and some constant of integration c1. So to solve it further first of all we will divide by r on right hand side. So we will get dt by dr equals to minus q triple dash r divided by twice k plus c1 by r and now ready for integration. So after one, inter one more integration we will get t equals to minus q triple dash r square by 4k plus c1 into ln of r plus some constant c2. First of all temperature is directly proportional to minus of r square. So again a distribution for generation is a parabola and parabola is downward. So in all generation problem you always get a parabola and parabola is always downward. Suppose we consider here a cylinder, a solid cylinder, a radius r is measured from axis and we have only one wall that is a circumferential wall where r equal to capital R. So our model is solid cylinder. So we have nichrome wire which is the electrical resistor wire with a solid wire through which we can pass the current and because of heating effect of I square r the heat is generated. So we have Q generation equals to I square r where R is electrical resistance in ohm and current in ampere. Unit of this quantity is watts. Volume of the cylinder is pi R square into L. So suppose this data is given to you. We can find out Q triple dash as Q generation divided by volume. Now remember we have only one wall in the case of cylinder. In slab we have two different walls but in cylinder we have only one wall. In the case of slab we have left wall and we have right wall. But in the case of cylinder we have only one wall. And distribution is downward parabola. So both sides we have same temperature. Actually it is one side only that is Tw. So entire circumferential area or circumference surface is at uniform temperature equal to Tw. And the available heat transfer is 2 pi RL. That is the circumferential area. If this wire is surrounded by fluid which is at temperature T infinity and heat transformation is H then according to law of conservation of energy the heat generated must equal to heat convected. Heat convected is given by A surface multiplied by H multiplied by Tw minus T infinity and Q generation is Q triple dash into volume. Use this equation to find out the wall temperature only. And if you want to find out the temperature at center line that is the maximum temperature then use our differential part. So if you put this value, so if we substitute here volume and surface area you will get Q triple dash into pi r square into L surface area is 2 pi r L into H into Tw minus T infinity. Your pi will be get cancel, L will cancel and hence there is no role of L. So in this problem also the length of conductor they will never provide. It is given use it otherwise forget it because there is no need of this to find out value of wall temperature. Now if suppose you are interested in the maximum temperature so it is known that the tangent line to this that is dt by dr the slope of this parabola at r equal to 0 is equal to 0 and temperature will be maximum temperature. So if I use this equation r is equal to 0, dt by dr equal to 0, even the first term is 0, it means that a c1 will also equal to 0. Because of this c1 will not appear in the next term. So no term of c1 will appear, neither c1 will appear in this equation. And you are left with the last term that is c2 term. Now to find out c2 you can use the boundary condition on the wall. 
on the boundary condition we have small r equal to capital R and temperature equal to Tw. So we can put this value. So this will be equals to Tw minus of Q triple dash by capital R square upon 4k plus C2. Finally we will discuss for sphere. Same model. One dimensional steady state with heat generation. This time you have to select n equal to 2. So general equation is 1 by r square del del r in bracket r square del t by del r equal to minus q triple dash by k. We got this equation from this equation and you have to put n equal to what 2 value. To solve this further we will multiply r square on the right hand side and we can write this term as ddr of r square into dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash r square by k so we can integrate now so we get r square dt by dr equal to minus q triple dash r q by thrice k plus some constant c1 to solve it further we will divide by first r square we will get dt by dr equals to minus q triple dash r by thrice k plus c1 by r square now we can integrate one more time to get your temperature distribution. So we will get t equal to minus q triple dash r square by 6k plus c1 and integral of 1 by r square is my integral of minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by r. So c1 is multiplied by minus 1 by r plus another constant equal to c2. So again we observe that the temperature is directly proportional to minus of r square. It indicates again a downward parabola. So in all generation problem you always get a temperature distribution as a downward parabola. Now consider a sphere. So we have a distribution of a temperature is downward parabola. So distribution will be like this. So our all surface that is only one radial surface is at uniform temperature equal to Tw and the maximum temperature will always occur at center. This is a model of a sun. If this is situation then at r equal to 0 we will use this equation so your c1 will be 0 so this term will not appear. This is 0 into 0 r is also 0 so c1 will also equal to 0. So this term will not appear this term will not appear and you can solve it for c2 then.